uh, or if you just have a right wing audience, it seems to do quite well for you. I give you Steven Crowder. Uh, this was a few days ago, and I was reading this. The BBC published this article. Look at the headline. The headline is, in Co- COVID in Wales, a third of positive cases are unvaccinated. <gasps> oh, no. Wait. That's a strange way to say two-thirds of positive <laughs> cases are vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It's, it, they like to pepper up the Wait, headline. the vast majority of cases are vaccinated, you say? Wait, did you hear me, what I said? And, and, the, and, and by the way, the headline doesn't really make sense. You have to read the article because it, it goes into more detail. And it actually seems like they're... The numbers may not even be accurate in the title, but it says yeah. 45% of cases are among the vaccinated, 20% they don't know. Oh, okay. But 80% of hospitalized patients in Wales are vaccinated. What? Mm. 80% wow. of hospitalized patients are vaccinated. And they'll say, well, it's because most of the population is vaccinated. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You don't it talk matters. about that with measles, mumps, rubella. You don't. If the vaccine works, it doesn't matter if 95% of the population is vaccinated and they make up only 85% of the hospitals. It sucks. I'm just curious. You just said that one third were unvaccinated. That's confirmed. 20% are kind of in the wind. We're not sure. And you're telling me 80%. That's what matters. In the hospital. No, 80% are in the hospital with one third unvaccinated. So it doesn't matter if you think your entire country is almost vaccinated. They're not because one third's not. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. It's a terrible. It's just headline. a very interesting way. This is where you have to read articles. And I'll be working on a project to hopefully help people with this. <laughs> yeah. Our links are in, in sources. Okay. They're all available in the description. Yeah, you really do need to read the article. In fact, mm. let's do that. Let's read the article and assess how how either a disingenuous Stephen Crowder is or stupid and how without a doubt how stupid his producer is who doesn't seem to be able to do any of this. <laughs> Let's read this article and understand COVID-19 in Wales a third of positive cases are unvaccinated a third of positive cases so um let's ass- okay so the figures showed here 99% of people who tested positive for covid in the past week of wales were under 60 of these 37% were unvaccinated okay so here's let me let's just work that out for a second 99% of the people who tested positive for covid in the past week were under 60 so you've got 100 people who are covid positive 99 of them are, uh, are under 60, and only 37% were unvaccinated. So that means that, let's just call it uh, all 100 were under 60. So you had 63 were vaccinated, 37 were unvaccinated. But what is the vaccination rate of, of Wales? It's in the next, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. The next, why are so many vaccinated people in the hospital? Well, the sheer number of vaccinated, nearly 95% of over 60 and either an 84% under 60. Okay. So you have two groups of people. You have the hundred people who have COVID and 63% of them are vaccinated, but the society at large, 85% of them are vaccinated. Do you see the difference there? You are more likely to get infected or show a positive uh, vaccination, I mean, a positive COVID test if you are unvaccinated. Three times, four times, it seems like, right? Is that more or less 37% yeah. as yeah. opposed to 15? 15%? 15%? Three times. Two and a half, three. Um, so you're two and a half more times likely to catch it. And remember, a lot of those uh, vaccinated people, I imagine, are also, you know, in terms of their behavior, functioning like they're vaccinated and they're not as worried about getting sick. Yeah. After this one? graph is where it's, it, it really explains it. After okay, this one. so uh, vaccine, it, the hospital figures? Yeah, right. Yeah. Just scroll down th- to that, right. So the red graph. Hospital admissions between fully vaccinated and unvaccinated. Over 60, fully vaccinated, over, oh, I see, okay. Unvaccinated, the over 60 rate is huge. Vaccinated is half that. So you can see that you have twice as, if you are over 60 and you are unvaccinated, in Wales, you are twice as likely to get into the hospital with COVID. If you are under 60, you are 
almost four and a half times more likely to go into the hospital if you are unvaccinated. Yeah, Wales has an insane vaccination rate. Like like you said, 85% for the under 60. The 16 to 17 year olds are like 70% for the whole state. So that's, again, that's more, or 70% is 30%. They're saying a third of the people in the hospitals are unvaccinated. So you can see vaccines work. And and to be clear, I don't know, maybe uh, Crowder rails against flu vaccinations each year, but f- the flu vaccination rate is much, much less effective. Yeah. And it still helps society. Did you see that uh, stat that they wrote out beneath there, broken down the hospital admissions rate for under 60s is 3.5 times higher for unvaccinated people? Did you, or I think, yeah, okay, never mind. I mean, but there it is. And and so uh, Crowder says uh, to read the article, we did. Yeah. Apparently, I don't know if he read the article. If he did, he's just lying. His producer just His producer definitely to didn't. The, the dynamic. <laughs> right, right. I think that they just read the headline and then they see that it's able to fit into their narrative. And they, do, of course, don't have any interest in looking at the gradations. I remember a story by Rush Limbaugh that he was reading, which was clearly like that. His producers had pulled this thing yeah, and he was reading like, oh, this is a perfect example of the, the environmental crazies. We're worried about global climate change. This is about uh, 15 years ago. A, uh, and he's like going, they have put a tinfoil top on a ski resort. I think it was in Switzerland or something. And this is how crazy these environmentalists are because of supposed global climate change. He starts reading the article, the body of the article, and it says, and he goes, an environmentalist uh, complained that the ski resort should not do this because uh, it, it creates, you know, some type of run. And, and he quickly had to sort of like, let's take a break. And it was, it was hilarious to see. I imagine that producer got fired, but that's basically what the story is. Like they're, they're going to take this, they're going to put it in there and they're going to twist the numbers. And the idea that you have a vaccine that inhibits um, uh, hospitalizations, inhibits deaths and inhibit infections, hundred percent. No, even if it's like 35, 45, 55% better. You get a better chance. If it's not, you know, four and a half times more likely that you are going to get COVID, um, that is a benefit of a vaccine. And then when you contemplate what is the downsides of that vaccine, what are the risks? Um, You know, you get a reaction. Maybe you don't feel well for a day or two. That that shingles uh, vaccine that I took that knocked me out. For like yeah, that, that messed you up a bit. You feeling all right now? Yeah, still sore over here though. It's and that's a week later. I hear that's a uh, a bear. It, it is, but it's worth it. Uh, yeah, is my understanding. Um, that's crowded for you. Let's uh, open up the phone lines. Go to the um, right. Crowder wants to focus on percentages, but ignores rates. Percentages sound scary. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.